Hey there, Sort here. Uh, I want to start by saying thank you to everybody that responded to my poll earlier this week um, concerning this series that I'm I'm starting right here and uh, right now. Um, yeah, the overwhelming majority of you guys seem to really want to uh, to see Golbez wreck some old trials, and you know there's really nothing else for me to do. Um, you know, I, I don't do dark visions. Um, you know, I, I went in and cleared out all those, um, you know, cleared out all the bosses. I did, you know, a reasonable attempt on the last boss and I'm done, one and done. Um, and so I've got plenty of time uh, for the next week and I'm gonna take Golbez and do a little tour of destruction for you guys. Um, I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna do it in a three part series because a lot of trials to cover and uh, in doing so, I hope to point out some of the older trials that are uh, are worth doing because maybe they have some really interesting uh, rewards. Um, there's some very interesting materias, uh, maybe some important killers and things in some of the old trials that are uh, definitely worth going for if if you're a newer player and you just haven't gotten around to the the, the trials or um, you know whatnot. If you've just got a huge backlog and you just you know. You, you haven't wanted to do it and you've been waiting around for, for <laughs> you know, uh, a, a good chance to um, just slaughter everything with power creep. And Golbez is here to uh, to carry you through pretty much everything. So in this three-part series, uh, I am going to try and do most of the trials, or uh, certainly the relevant ones. Um, here in part one, uh, I'm just going to kind of gradually lead into things, starting with the easiest ones that I, I think are, are worth doing. And, and by the easy ones, I mean the ones that we're just going to kill on, on the first turn. Um, sometimes not even like bothering to do imbues and perils or anything like that. Some of them are just so easy and Golbez is so powerful that he can literally just wipe them off the map without even any assistance. He could do it all by himself. Um, so I'll do a couple of those. And um, I, I also want to do this in sort of as budget fashion um, as, as I can, as I think I can get away with. And so um, I'm real quick, I'm just going to show you the Golbez that I'm working with here. You can you can basically ignore uh, the gear on most of the other units that I'm going to be bringing into any of these trials. Most of them are here just for support. I, of course, uh, I love being able to bring Esther and, uh, and Sylvie, and these are the seven star versions, of course. Um, they are going to be providing a lot of help. Sylvie, as a seven star unit, is still incredibly uh, incredibly broken. She is such an amazing unit for all kinds of content. Um, you know, she's got three different imbues uh, that come with imperils and amps attached, and, and it just, yeah, she is really, really fantastic unit. Um, Esther, of course, is there because she's my best girl. Love my Esther. Um, Biggs and Wedge, you see there, he's he's going to be a, a common unit you see in a lot of the clears, especially the uh, the quick clears, because he's got a tag chaining normal attack that you can basically set up to do a quad attack, um, and then uh, Golbez can cap that, and that it's an AOE, so it's very very easy, very simple and straightforward. And I'll show you how that works in a couple of different trials. Um, Zargabath here is really great for just keeping Golbez topped up on his MP if you're doing trials that have multiple stages, and I'll show you how that works um, in, in just a minute. But first things first, now um, this is going to be a long video, so uh, definitely use the timestamps. I always include timestamps in all my videos. I don't know if you guys always notice that. Sometimes it's hard to tell uh, if you're viewing it on your phone. It's hard to tell uh, that there are timestamps attached. Use the timestamps to hop around to these videos because these are all going to be fairly long because I'm going to do several trials in each part. Um, so in this part, I'm going to do you know a lot of really easy, quick, clear trials. Um, in the next part, I'll do uh, a lot of the sort of more difficult scorn trials, and then in the third part, I'll do um, I'll do like the twelve types, and I'll probably even try and get and do Morgana in the in the third part. Um, and so, but each video is going to have several different trials in it, so please use the timestamps to sort of hop around if there's a certain trial that you want to see. Um, but to start with, I'm just going to show you the basic budget build that I'm going to be using for my Golbez. Now, I have an EX3 Golbez, but uh, not everybody out there has one, so I made an EX plus one Golbez. Um, I would say at least an EX plus one Golbez should be reasonable for most people because he was given away for free not that long ago. Um, you can also just use uh, UOC tickets to get him uh, up to EX1 fairly easily. So I, I don't think that's a, uh, that shouldn't be a deal breaker. I feel like that's pretty safe to call that a, a budget EX level Golbez. 
Um, as far as his gear, Encyclopedia of Herbs was the free item world rod that we got last month. Um, so if you were around last month, you should have picked up this rod. Um, hopefully ran it through item world uh, to pick up the, the rare enhancement that went along with it. Um, this is probably the best uh, free equip that they've ever given out in an item world because it is a two-handed rod. Um, and the special, oops, I want to let me look at that. And the, um, the special rare that came with it, it also comes with some killers, which is kind of nice. Um, always nice to have that. Um, but the rare that came with it uh, gives you 50% mag double hand which is very useful on Golbez because um, he's usually shy 50% TDH mag so this covers that then just gives you a little bit extra mag. Golbez tops up mag very very easily. MP is the one that you really want to worry about. So um, this is basically the budget build I'm going to be working with. Um, I will upgrade the Curse Doll and the Dragon's Crest once I clear those trials out for you. I'm going to do um, those as some of the first ones that we do, and then I'll upgrade those, the Dragon's Crest and the Curse Doll, um, just to sort of, you know, realistically show the progression of the gear. Um, Magic Circlet is um, Heliarch. That's a four-star TMR right there. Um, obviously, Golbez with his cursed uh, cursed armor. If you haven't uh, if you haven't picked this up yet, I, I did a video on it um, several weeks ago when the Chronicle Battle came out. Please check that out first. Make sure you go get this uh, upgrade and get the cursed uh, upgrade to the armor. Um, because we will be using that Jet Black Curse ability uh, in certain battles. It's very, very useful. Um, so please pick that up, or else you, you may not be able to follow some of the trials that you're going to see here in this video. Um, yeah, Curse Doll and Dragon, uh, Dragon's Crest, those are both trial rewards, um, which get upgraded versions in the Scorn versions that we're going to slay here very, very soon. Um, and then, so usually um, the Miracle Magic, that is a parameter... Uh, parameter mission. I can't remember which parameter mission it is, but it's it's a, it's a free materia that does 50% MP, which really helps out Golbez. Um, and then Indestructible Light is that is Savior of Souls, uh, Savior of Souls Lightning STMR. And Savior of Souls Lightning is a free unit that you would get for, um, I believe it's the just like the quest, the panel quests. Um, so you can pick that unit up easily enough. Um, and then if, if you have that STMR, uh, if you have an STR, STMR Moogle, I can't remember if you get enough shards for free to EX1 or EX2 her. Um, but yeah, you want Indestructible Light because Golbez has, um, he's got 100% chain limit boost in his kit already. But as you can see there, it says chain limit boost can go up to 200%. So this gives him that remaining 100% so that his chain cap boost is at the full 600 uh, or sorry, the full 200% for that extra chain cap boost. That's what you want. That is very, very important. That's more important than, than killers or anything else that you're going to throw on him. So you either need that materia or if you have one of the Magister's gears, like the Magister's ring, because you've been doing Clash of Wills, throw that in one of the accessory slots. You don't need two forms of chain limit boost, just one, because he already has innate in his kit. Um, if you look, I believe it is... The two-handed saboteur there it is yep so he's already got 100 in his kit you don't need to put two forms of chain limit boost on him all right um and so you'll notice i've got uh, killers in the other two slots and those two slots will always just kind of be shifted around for killers uh as we kind of go through these these trials miracle magic and indestructible light will always be there um, going forward, at least in this video, and uh, as we get into more difficult trials, it is possible I may need to switch those around a little bit, um, but those are staples. Miracle Magic and Indestructible Light will always be there, and then the killers will just move around as we, as we need them for different trials. Um, the vision card will be Olivera's vision card, and this, um, if you're going to use Golbez at all, um, you should invest a Perma VC select ticket in this vision card. Or if you have Olivera uh, at EX1, you already have this card. Um, you know, this is the the budget vision card for Golbez. If you don't have this card, um, 
definitely pick it up. If you have the Dazzling Demonist card, obviously that is the upgraded version. It's much, much better. His MP will go uh, much higher. And just to, to show you what I mean, I will swap that one out real quick. Um, let me sort by MP. All right, and yep, so you see we went from 4,400 MP to 6,000 MP. And the reason why this is important, of course, why MP is, is so important is um, because Meteor, oops, sorry, it's a magic ability. All right, because Meteor consumes all of your MP and then uses that to basically do the modifier. So um, you see it's 100% damage uh, per MP consumed times 100, right? Uh, and so basically what that means is the modifier on his attack will equal whatever the MP is when he casts Meteor, all right? So in this case, with 6,028 uh, MP, that means it's a 6,028 times modifier. And that is equivalent to like, you know, two... Uh, two Stormseeker Esthers doing their LBs at the same time, right? So that modifier is is insane, which is why Golbez is, is extremely powerful with the Dazzling Demons card. But I'm not going to assume you have that because it is a limited card. Uh, we have had two chances to pick it up, um, but if you didn't get it either either time, don't worry. Oliver's card will carry you through, all right? So this is my budget build, uh, Golbez, that I will be taking on this little journey, this little adventure. Um, and so let's go ahead and get started on some easy trials and just see how uh, how we can you know, clear these out very, very quickly um, and, and get some of the important gear. So I'm going to go into the Chamber of the Fallen. Um, and just to show you how squishy some of these really old trials are, um, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to start with, I think it's the Explosion of Needles is a good one. Okay, um, so Explosion of Needles. So this one has two very important, what I think are important materials. Um, and so we've got uh, the Runaway Materia, which is a 20% um, physical evasion. So if you're doing physical evasion builds, it's very, very important to have that. Um, and then uh, 10,000 needles is a, a materia that gives the entire team one stack of mirage. Um, now these days, you know, one stack of mirage doesn't really, really cut it, but there are times where that materia does come in handy. Um, and I may even use it in a future clear uh, during this series. So it's definitely important to get this one done if you haven't done it. Now you see, in order to get the um, 10,000 needles, you do have to defeat the gargantuan gigantar with an esper um, and that one can be a little bit tricky um, but if you have a friend who has a uh, like a, a terra or something on their their list or some unit like a an evoker uh, that gets an auto evoke fill you can always just bring them so i will just let's just say i'm gonna bring I'll bring my Terra. Let's just say you, ha you find a friend Terra on the list, or you want to just bring a Terra. Doesn't really matter. Um, you know, you can just do that. Now, you'll see uh, my Golbez. All I'm going to do is just swap the uh, the killer over to, or I'm just going to put Ifrit Esper on him. And I'm going to try to only use Season 1 Espers. I'm not going to use any of the Season 2 Espers, just in case you haven't gotten to Season 2 and you don't have those yet. Um, all of my Espers are, of course, already level 60. Um, you know, I can't, I can't unlevel my espers, um, and so you know, it, it is what it is. But I, I will, uh, I will just, you know, I, I will stress that I'm, I'm not going to try and go overkill on killers in certain, in a lot of these, and you really don't need to. Um, but we know the Gigantar is a plant, so you know, if it's got plant killers, Golbez has a lot of plant killers in his kit already but I'm not going to adjust the killers because we honestly don't need to. Um, and this is going to be one of those trials where we literally, we just walk in, Golbez does a meteor, and we collect our loot. All right, We don't even need the rest of the unit. I could, I could remove everybody else from this list and we would be perfectly fine. All right, The only thing we need is we need somebody to summon an Esper to get that 10,000 needles ability. So that's why we're bringing Terra. Okay, 
Now, the thing about the Gigantar is uh, once you kill him, he will do a final attack that does uh, a crap ton of fixed damage to the entire party. All you need to do is make sure that somebody survives. So I'm going to have Sylvie do re-raise on Golbez. Okay. Um, Terra can just, uh, let's see, which one? I think, um, I think, yeah, that one's got a very long wind-up, so you, you want to pick an Esper that's got like a really long uh, animation just to make sure um, that the damage that it deals is after Gigantar has died. So here we go, Golba is just going to go ahead and do Meteor. Don't even have to chain or anything. Dark Messenger. All right, that way the Esper damage counts. Okay. Um, and everybody else just guards. There we go. Gold is still standing. Too easy. All right, all missions clear. So now you've just picked up those two materials, which, um, in my opinion, if you haven't picked them up yet, they can certainly be useful. They're free. You might as well go get them. Having that free 20% um, physical mitigation, or sorry, physical uh, evasion can be really useful for building evasion builds. Um, and the 10,000 needles, you never know when that's going to come in handy, when you might need a unit. And that can go on any unit to give the team uh, AoE Mirage. Very, very useful. Um, you can do that exact same thing that we just saw here um, against the... Chocobo Battalion, they will also, they'll fold, um, they, are, they are all too easy. Um, you can, uh, to, just to make sure that they die here, I'll just go ahead and do it real quick. Just to make sure they die, we're not even going to bother with killers. Um, we don't need to do any espers or anything on this one. Um, so on this one, I'm just going to bring this same team. Again, not even worrying about it. All right, so for this one, just to be safe, you can have Sylvie do Bolt Egg. All right, that imbues the entire party, gives an Imperil to the other side, and Amps. And then we'll do uh, Hop into Battle on Golbez, all eggs in one basket, which does the 30% uh, Lightning Amp. And you'll see me do that a lot uh, in these early clears. Um, Esther can just do the AoE 30% uh, or 130% Imperil. And then Golbez just is Meteor, and everybody dies. Don't even have to chain. All right, so you can see a lot of these like really early trials are just, you know, totally power crept. Um, you know, they're a, a total joke. So just if you haven't done them yet, just go in, take your budget Golbez, and just wipe these. Just wipe the floor with these. Um, you know, I, I don't want to do too many more of, of these trials, but I will say um, too many of these, like, super easy ones. But, like, you know, Behemoth K um, and um, and the Curl, the Whip Whiskered Beast. Behemoth K is really useful um, because he has the Rage Beast's Roar ability. And I've used that one in several cases. The Rage Beast Roar does the... Um, it dispels the caster and one other party member and that's very very useful because if you want to dispel just you know like one person um you can also select you know you can select the caster as the target of the dispel as well so it can be very 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 useful if you want to do a dispel on one person on the party or two people on the party but nobody else um so i definitely recommend doing this trial to pick up Rage Beast Roar. All you have to do is beat it in th uh, within 30 turns, which is a joke with Golbez. As to, and to prove that, we'll just go in. I'm not going to take anybody with me. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to use my uh, Avalanche Biggs and Wedge to chain, because I want to show you how this works. So Avalanche Biggs and Wedge has a normal attack that does an AoE tag chain. Um, and this is very, very useful. Does seven hits in the tag chain. So if you give him two weapons, now you have to give him dual wield. So I just gave him dual wield here. Um, and then I just gave him two weapons, his own STMR and uh, Fallen Angle, which is Barrel's STMR. Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be that. That's just, that was the first thing uh, that popped up. So I just threw that on him. Just has to be two weapons. That's the important thing. And then give him Aurora Scarf, which is um, the original Lightning's 
is it her? Yeah, it's her Tiamor, which is even better. Uh, and that causes his uh, normal attack to hit twice. And since he's dual wielding, that means it will hit four times. So that gives you a nice 27 hit chain. Um, and it's it's fairly slow. It's not super fast. So it's easy for, um, for Golbez to, to fit that in. So, you know, Biggs and Wedge is Golbez's best friend. Um, when it comes to chaining, very, very nice budget option there. So to prove uh, that Behemoth K is, is easy to take down, uh, we're going to go in here. I'm going to leave uh, I'm going to leave Ifrit on there for the Beast Killer. Um, so he's got 125 Beast. I could do more, but I'm not going to bother. We don't need it. So let's just go ahead and get in there. All right, so Sylvie... We'll do the same thing she did last time, and I'll show it again here. I won't just hit reload, repeat, just in case you're skipping ahead to this one. Um, so yeah, so that's Bolt Egg, Hop into Battle on Golbez, and All Eggs on, in one basket on Golbez. Esther just does Shock Embrace for the 130% Lightning Imperil. All right, Golbez is going to do Meteor and Biggs and Wedge. All they have to do is you just tap them, do their normal attack. All right, so let's see how this works. Yeah, first hit. First hit he died. I, I probably actually didn't even need to bother chaining. He probably would have died. Um, but yeah, always safe to do a little bit of chain so that you're taking advantage of the chain cap. So there you go. We've just uh, we just beaten that one. Um, yep, yeah, easy peasy there. I think the last mission on that one was to defeat him with a limit burst, but honestly, the material you get for that is is so outdated, it's not really worth it. But if you wanted to do that, uh, just take Zargabath out and put in somebody that gets uh, a turn one LB fill, and they can do their LB. You can do exactly what I just did against Whip Whiskered Beast. Um, and this one's useful because of Call of the Wild. Um, that's a very useful material because it does the... Um, it does the turn one LB fill. Uh, it does an eight LB fill uh, at the start of battle, and it also does it any time you brave shift or if you re-raise. And so I've definitely used that to great effect to help fill up people's uh, LB that don't, you know, if they don't get Warring Spirit, for example. Um, it's very useful for helping get LBs up quickly. Um, I used it on my EX1 Nickel uh, recently in order to help get his limit burst up. Uh, when I needed it. So it's a very, very useful materia. All you have to do is defeat the curl um, within 25 turns. Curl Blaster, I, I don't recommend bothering it, but if you if you want, you know, if you're a completionist and you want to do it all, just make sure you bring somebody that can uh, summon an Esper. And, you know, kind of like what we did against the uh, the Cactuar, you just summon something like Diabolos or, or Bahamut that has a long animation uh, so that it hits after Golbez is already killed. Um, so just to prove that, yeah, the curl, the curl folds just as easily, uh, we'll go in here and do exactly what we just did. All right, literally just uh, reload, repeat. Nothing to it. All right. Golbez Meteors, wait a couple seconds, send Biggs and Wedge, boom, dead on the first hit. All right, all too easy. <clears throat> So yeah, like I said, if you want that last mission for the Curl Blaster, it, it's a useless materia, but if you are if you want it just to have it, uh, bring someone like Terra that has a turn one uh, Esper Gauge fill and, and cast your, your Esper to kill it. Um, so yeah, that's about, that's about it for the easy ones. I mean, you, everyone's grudge honestly isn't even worth it, but if you did want to do it, there, there's nothing worth it in the rewards in my opinion, but if you did want to do it, just follow exactly what I did with Curl against, um, against these guys. They, they also fold very, very quickly. So that's pretty much all of the ones that I think are, are worth doing here. I am going to eventually come back and do the Sandworm and, um, and Bahamut because those actually are bulky enough that it's going to take more than one turn to kill. So I'll come back to these guys um, and do those after I've cleared all the other first turn kills. Um, some other really, really easy ones um, are, um, 
like the, the Scorn Shinryu. So we'll go ahead and do this one. Um, that way I can, I can use the upgraded Dragon's Crest on my Golbez from now on. All right, so we're just gonna depart without companion. Um, the nice thing about um, Biggs and Wedge is he has an auto mag cover, and that's something you need to have for uh, Scorn of Shinryu. Uh, the Scorn Shinryu, because he does the preemptive water AoE magic attack. So we just need to make sure, I'm gonna swap over to Odin Esper on my Golbez, um, and I'm gonna put Siren on this guy here, so he should be, oh yeah, he's totally covered. Um, he also has 100% fire, um, fire resist. That's because Scorn of Shinryu, much like the Gigantor, does a final attack when it's dead, and it's an AoE fire nuke. So um, you either make sure everybody has guts, or you make sure everybody has fire resist. Um, so Golbez has 70% innately, um, what I can do is I can just give him, I'm not even going to bother with killers, so I'll just give him some fire resist. Um, let's see, what's something that has fire resist? Uh, what does that have? Hmm, let's just do a quick filter. And yeah, kindness. So this is a really nice one. Uh, it's 50% fire resist on a four star uh, TMR. So pick that one up. And yep, so Golbez will survive now. Yay! All right, um, and yeah, we're basically going to do exactly what we did last time. Golbez, uh, I'm not even going to really switch the killers around. Doesn't need it. He's got 125% dragon killer. That's more than enough. Um, and we should be good to go. Yeah. Okay. All right, so there's the preemptive AOE water damage. Totally resisted. Okay. And um, Sylvie, we're just gonna do exactly what we did last time. Uh, we'll do Storm, or sorry, Bolt Egg for the imbue. Hop into battle on Golbez. All eggs in one basket on Golbez. Esther just does the Imperil. Or the stronger Imperil, I should say. So Sylvie's imbue does come with a 120% Lightning in peril, but Esther's is 130%, so it's like, might as well do it, right? Alright, so yeah, basically everything we've done uh, already up to this point, Zarg's just gonna cover. Um, we'll Meteor and chain it up. Oh, that actually took two hits to kill him. Whoa. There's the final attack. Fire nuke. Golby and Biggs should survive it. Everybody else wipes, no problem. You only need one person to survive it to win. Okay. And so there, yeah, yeah. There, um, now I can, I can legitimately say uh, I can, I can use the Dragon's Crest Plus on my Golbez. Um, another, uh, sorry, another one was the, the Scorn of the Mad Doll, which gives you Cursed Doll Plus. And that's another one uh, I wanna just really quick show you, because this is a, this one has multiple stages. It has two stages. And so Zarg, uh, Zargabath is actually gonna come in handy on this one, all right? Um, now, for this one, uh, you have to use a Limit Burst um, in order to get the Trust Coins if you really want them. Uh, so just bring somebody that make, you know, make sure that you, uh, Make sure they have their limit burst up when you need it. All right, so same team. Um, I'll put Diabolus Esper on there for the demon killers. Um, it's not really needed; it's overkill. But now we have uh, 225 demon. Whew, that's kind of that's so much overkill. All right, um, let's just go ahead and get in there. All right, so the first stage is all the little dolls. Um, so this one's easily handled. Well, uh, again, we're just gonna have Sylvie do Bolt Egg. Hop into battle on Golbez. All eggs in one basket on Golbez. All right, Esther, once again, is just gonna do Shock Embrace for the Imperil. All right, now Zarg, 
The reason why I bring Zargabath uh, and why he's good for these multiple stage trials is because of this skill right here, Rejuvenate. Um, and he just needs to be seven star. Um, that's all you need in order to get this skill. He might even have it at six star, uh, but it does a 50% MP restore, uh, which is very, very useful on our good friend Golbez here. And so I'm gonna queue that up. I'm not gonna use it until after Golbez has cast. Um, and so we'll do Meteor and uh, Biggs and Wedge will, will chain it up. So here we go. Um, now, it, right after I tap Golbez, I'm gonna tap Zargabath to go ahead and do 50% MP restore. All right, so there's Biggs and Wedge with AOE. Probably didn't even need to chain, to be honest, but might as well show you how it works if you've got an AOE fight. <laughs> 89 billion. Yeah, that was overkill. All right. Um, oh, that's weird. Why didn't why does Rejuvenate not work? I must have cast it on the wrong person or something. That's okay. Um, Golbez doesn't really need it. That's going to be more than enough uh, MP. So for this one, um, I'm not even going to bother with buffs. Um, we're just going to do the Imperils and the Imbue. Because there's just so much overkill. Yeah. All right. I could have even had Esther do her LB um, on that turn just to, <laughs> you know, just to um, have it up. And, and get that, that those 250 trust coins, but whatever. Uh, I'm just here for the Curse Doll Plus. All right, so now that we've done those, um, I can show you how this would work on some other multiple race, uh, multiple race trials, or sorry, multi-stage trials. Now, I don't want to bore you too much. Um, an important one to do if you haven't done it, oh, I don't know why it did that. An important one to do if you haven't done it is um, I think it's, is it, no, not the Marching Beast, Scorn of the, uh, which one is it? Mm, I can't remember which one it is now. It might be over in the Chamber of the Fallen? Is it the... Which one is it? Hmm, well, I've forgotten which one it is now. Uh, but don't worry about it. Um, any, I'm just going to really quick show you what a multi-stage fight um, would look like. Um, and we'll do the uh, Sworn Eight of Palladia just to show you. Um, so this one, yeah, Evoke an Esper, blah, 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 blah. Um, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. We're not bringing any friends. Okay, this is just to show you what a multi-fight a multi -fight, uh, battle would look like using Zargabath to keep... Um, to keep our good friend um, Golbez all topped up. All right, so um, these are all humans, so I think he's already pretty much topped out on human killer. Yeah, because he's got a lot of innate human killer and then Diabolos basically caps him off. So we don't even need to worry about changing any killers on him and we're just gonna go in here and, and slaughter these guys. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do this and we'll use Zargabat to show you what a multi-stage fight would look like uh, using Golbez. Okay, so Sylvie will ba, ba, ba. So we can't use lightning on this one, all right, because we've got the Lord, uh, Bolt Lord uh, over there, and so Bolt Lord will absorb lightning. So we're just gonna do light element on this one. And um, now you can't use Magnuses uh, on multi-stage fights um, more than once. So I'm gonna steer clear of the Magnus on this one. And then we'll just do, I, I don't know, Marion watching over me. Cooldowns will reset for each stage, but Magnuses do not refresh for each one, okay? Um, so again, I'm gonna queue up Rejuvenate. I'm gonna make sure I tap Golbez this time, because for some reason I, I must not have hit Golbez on the last one. All right, so Golbez will go ahead and cast. All right, boom, dead, dead, dead. Well done. going to reload repeat um, we'll have to switch element on the last battle when we go up against light lord and we'll just switch to lightning on that one no problem okay 
And we'll just do the same thing. Uh, gold bubbles. Now he's only got 50% MP. That's fine. More than enough to kill these guys. Yep. So even with only 50% MP, uh, he's just nuking these guys. All right, so we're just gonna reload, repeat. Boom, all right. All right, so for this one, we do have to do something a little bit different. We can go back to lightning element on this one. So we'll do bolt egg, hop into battle on Golbez, um, and hop to the rescue on Golbez, doesn't really matter. Uh, Esther again with the uh, bigger imperil. All right, this Argobath can go ahead and top up Golbez because this is the final fight. So he's gonna be full strength and let's nuke. Oh. Hmm. All right, so that's how you do a multi-stage fight, and you can do that for any of the multi-stage. multi, multi -stage. There's like the Scourge of the Sur Surging Menace. I think that's like nine stages or something. So you can use that, that same team to basically nuke that and get through any of those multi-stage fights like that. All right. Um, and so that's that's... You know, those are the, the the really easy, the easy ones. Um, actually, scorn of the scorn of the beast of the dark is another uh, is another easy one. And I can tell you what. Um, let's go ahead and do scorn of the beast of the dark too. While we're here, we might as well um, just to show you how that one works. Um, what I'm gonna do on this one, I'm gonna do a quick build here. Uh, where's my buddy Kenny? Kenny Crow. There he is. All right, so Kenny is a, a four-star unit, um, and he has he's uh, he has passive provoke, innate 100% passive provoke. Um, so very very uh, useful for being a dummy unit. Um, and so for this trial, um, we need two things on our provoke unit. Uh, he needs to have charm immunity. So um, oop, remove filter. So we're going to give him a. Any form, anything that gives him charm immunity. So first rate treasure hunter, that comes from Adventurer Lock, which is a five star unit. And then um, he also needs Bushido Freedom. Um, and this is going to dispel, um, this is gonna dispel the cover that Golem puts up. Because if you don't dispel the cover, then Golem will cover Shiva. And we don't want that. Um, so for this one, we're gonna put Golem Esperon for the Stone Killer. Uh, Golem is stone and Shiva is human, and so this just kind of uh, you know balances out our killers a bit because he's already got a lot of innate human. See, 200% innate human killer, and then 20, 125 stone. Um, if we want to be um, if we want to be safe, we can give him a little extra stone killer. Let's do. Uh, weapon specialist is really nice because it does 75% human and 75% stone. So um, we'll go ahead and put that on there. All right, and we'll, we'll just really embarrass this one. All right, so basically exactly the same setup that we just did. Kenny Crow is just going to make sure we dispel the cover. And uh, yeah, then we're just going to nuke these guys. Um, well, let's get in there and do it. This one is a useful trial because it comes with Golem Shell, which is actually a very nice sort of free armor. I use it on my uh, my Runda a lot as a budget build, like a budget armor for Runda. So if you, haven't, if you haven't picked it up, definitely do it. All right, first thing before we do anything else is Bushido Freedom. All right, Wedge doesn't have to do anything. Um, Sylvie will just do her usual. Bolt Egg, hop into battle on Golbez, and all legs in one basket on Golbez. Esther, as usual, Shock Embrace for the bigger Imperil. And let's nuke it. Okay.
Yep, there you go. Another old trial wiped off the map, thanks to Golbez. All right. <clears throat> All right, now I want to do, um, you know, before, you know, I was trying to figure out, like, where's the difficulty cutoff on these? And, and 400 is kind of a nice sort of, of cutoff, but I wanted to do some of these, you know, earlier trials just to show you how uh, how easy some of them, them are. Um, but um, Omega is kind of an interesting one, and, and, and I want to show it to you, not because I necessarily think the rewards are really worth it. It does have Conquering the Fear of Spirits, which... You know, it's a nice killer. I think it's got 75% uh, fa fairy killer, or maybe it's reaper killer. I can't remember. But it is a 75% killer Mysteria that does 40% uh, attack and mag, so it is definitely worth it to go in there and get it. Um, but this one has a very unique AI in that it is totally immune to physical damage for the first two turns, and uh, Golbez's Meteor is a physical attack, so it will be immune to it. So you can't actually kill it until turn three, unless you hit it with magic. Now you could just use Golbez's magic attack. Um, his LB is probably enough to kill it, although it's dark element. But um, I'm just gonna show you how to do this in three turns real quick. All right, so I had a team set up for it. Um, hopefully I saved it. Pretty sure I did. Where's my Golby Omega? There it is. All right, so here's my, um, my Omega team. Okay, for this one, Omega does a preemptive 100, uh, sorry, a preemptive AOE fire elemental magic nuke. <laughs> oh, that's a mouthful. So you can either have a magic tank that preemptive covers it um, and, and just have them uh, save it. But the big thing is on turn two, he does an uncoverable AOE hybrid attack. Um, and it, it hits four times and it's fairly strong, even with a good magic attack mag break. Um, and so I brought my friend Zahn, uh, Mastermind Zahn here, so that we can use his smoke bomb. So everybody on the team is 100% fire resistant. That's all you need to worry about. Don't worry about any of the rest of the gear. Um, Golbez is also fire resistant because we've got our Dragon's Crest Plus. Uh, so that makes him innately fire resistant. Very nice. Um, here we've got our Machine Killers, uh, Mechanic for the Royal Family, that comes from Cindy. Valued Memories, that comes from Irvine. Um, everything else checks out, so he's got... Where's the Machine Killer on there? Ah, 200%. That's all we need. Too easy. Um, Sylvie is 100% fire resist. Doesn't have anything else. Beatrix will be our Magic Tank. She's 100% fire and ice resistant. And then Zahn has no fire resist. All right, but he does have a form of guts, and that's what you need because we need him to we need him uh, to go below a certain threshold to proc his smoke bomb ability. Um, I think it has to be below 20% HP, so uh, this will allow him to proc his guts, and then he will uh, be able to use his smoke bomb ability on turn two. All right, so let's get in here and see how we take out Omega. All right, so now Zahn has Smoke Bomb. All right, we're not gonna use it yet because uh, the first thing we, we wanna do is kill the Searcher. Because um, the Searcher bah, 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 will is the one that puts up the, uh, the physical immunity. Um, so let's just go ahead and wipe him, wipe him off the map, what do we say? All right, um, and as usual, Sylvia will do her Bolt Egg, hop into battle on Golbez. All eggs in one basket on Golbez. All right, um, Esther is going to do her. <laughs> um, do Stormbrand for the single target because um, we want to try not to proc the cover. Although I think Golbez's um, attack will proc it anyways, but yeah, not a big deal. Um, whoops, Beatrix is just going to cover. Um, we could have also brought. Um, 
Biggs and Wedge, but again, I didn't want that auto cover because Biggs and Wedge does the auto cover, and I didn't want that because I needed Zahn to proc his guts. So that's why I brought Beatrix instead of Biggs and Wedge on this one. All right, um, we're just gonna do. Oh no, we're gonna. Sorry, we're gonna do Meteor on this one, duh, because we want to kill the Searcher. I don't even know if we really need to kill it, but I want to kill it, so I'm gonna. Hmm. All right, so you notice some of those chains miss because I think it has some uh, evasion on it, but yeah, no worries. All right, so there's Beatrix covering all of that. So now we're gonna do Smoke Bomb. That gives everybody five stacks of Mirage. Okay, um, Esther can just do Shock Embrace for the, uh, the bigger Lightning Apparel. And um, I think yeah, all we want to do here is just Osmos. Okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. And I don't think we really need to do anything here with Sylvie. Yeah. No, Sylvie can just guard this one. Because um, we'll just have Zahn and Esther chain again next turn. Alright, so Golbez is back up. All right, so now the physical immunity uh, has worn off. Okay, so now we can go in and, and kill this thing. Uh, you see Golbez is blinded. Um, we definitely want to uh, cure that. So, spring cleaning. Um, because Golbez's meteor is a physical attack. Oh, he also got stopped. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Um, hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, we are going to, um, I didn't realize he was gonna get stopped too. So we are going to deal with that, no big deal. Um, we can handle that because Sylvie can get rid of it next turn. So here, let's just have Esther and, uh, uh, let's just have them do some chaining. Be interested to see what kind of damage they can do anyways. And then we'll just, we'll cure Golbez's stop next turn. Don't worry. Ba, ba, ba. All right, there's my seven star Esther dealing some, some death, some, <laughs> some damage. Oh, nice. Okay. It's fine that Beatrix died. Um, oh, good, yeah, so we'll just reload. Do a meteor. Oh. We'll do meteor. Um, we're gonna make sure that we are still imbued because I think the imbues only last for three turns. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. <laughs> Took one more turn than I wanted it to, but that's all right. I'm glad I killed that searcher now, because if I hadn't, we would have had to wait another, uh, we ha would have had to wait till turn six, because the searcher would have put the physical uh, immunity back up. <laughs> All right, um, so that's how you do Omega. You know, it's just one of those trials with a, like a little gimmick that you kind of have to work around, so if you're, if it's, you know, frustrating you, that's how you work around it. Um, not too difficult. And I think, you know, a lot of these other ones are just gonna be first turn kills, so, I'm not gonna get into them. Um, I will do. Uh, ba -ba -ba. What, do, what do I wanna do here? I wanna do the EXT trials, because those are also, a lot of them are first turn kills. Um, and so, with the exception of the Demon Chimera, um, a lot of these are first turn, uh, first turn kills. Um, now, are they really worth it? I, I, I don't know. I don't really... I think of the EXT Trials, the only one that's really worth it is probably scoring the two-headed uh, two dragon for that Grand Helm++, plus plus, because I use that a lot on different units. Um, it's a great budget uh, helmet for, like, Runda, for example. Um, and so I, I'll do scoring the two-headed dragon, EXT, and you can use this team on, on any of them. Uh, you can do like Antonola, 
Um, I don't think Antonola has anything. The Thorned Mace plus plus is just okay. Um, it does come with 100% poison affliction, which can be useful. Um, but I'm just gonna do the one that's useful, and then you can basically copy and paste this strategy um, with with slight modifications for any of the EXT, EXT trials, with the exception of Demon Chimera. That's gonna be the first one that's kind of like not easily uh, easily killable on turn one. All right, so I'm gonna load up. Um, up, up, up which one did I do? Uh, I think. Antonola, and then I just switched. Yeah. So I used the Antonola team, and then I just switched over to Dragon Killer. Yeah. Um, so yeah, for the two-headed dragon, another easy-peasy fight. Um, I'm just going to take... I had Poppy in there for Antonola because she has plant killers. Uh, it turns out I didn't even need those plant killers, so I can literally just swap her out for... Uh, it's not going to let me swap. Um, I'm gonna put her in for Terra because all of these, um, all of these early EXT trials require you as one of the missions to um, summon an Esper. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her in here. Um, just make sure you have uh, Ramo Esper in there somewhere uh, because that gives you the nice lightning uh, amp field, which you know you might as well do it. Why not, right? So pretty much the same deal as before. Um, same gear. Um, I've got Grand Star on there for, uh, for some reason. Oh, that was for Demon Chimera, that's right. Okay, and then I just kind of switched stuff around. So his killers are only 145, that's more than enough. Um, ba -ba -ba. yep, he's good to go. Again, Esther, don't worry about her. Um, oh, come on. Yeah, again, you don't have to worry about Sylvie. Um, and here we go, we've got, uh, it, for some reason, I put Or Chalcum Dirt on this one. Oh, I guess so that I didn't have to worry about the dual wield. Either way, that's just another option. You can do dual wield with another weapon in there, or you can use Or Chalcum Dirt, which comes from Benevolent Beauty Realm, which gives dual wield innately. It's just a nice other option to put on Biggs and Wedge there. Again, Aurora Scarf so that he does uh, four normal attacks. All right, so let's just get in here and watch how we crush this one. Okay, so we got Bolt Egg, hop into battle on Golbez, all eggs in one basket on Golbez. Esther again, with the bigger Imperil. Golbez just does Meteor. Terra will summon Rama. So now we have a lightning, uh, lightning field to amp the damage. It's not necessary, but you have to do the Esper mission anyways if you want. I can't remember what the Oh, it's just a five-star select ticket. So if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. Um, but might as well, right? Might as well do an all missions clear while we're here. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't kill him. All right. Should have put more killers on there. Ouch. <laughs> All right, guess I should have put more killers in there. Uh, I got cocky. I got cocky. All right, so 145% killers, not enough. So let's throw in. Ba -ba -ba. Let's see, let's do dragon. <laughs> dragon killer plus, because you can get that from... Uh, from doing the like one star Bahamut Esper, I think, on Bahamut's Island. And just for good measure, we'll just throw a regular Dragon Killer in there. All right, that'll almost certainly do it. So let's try that again. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna reload, repeat. All right, this should definitely do it. There it is. 
Yep, and that was probably massive overkill there. Um, yeah, so that should, I mean, that should get you through. Um, that should definitely get you through. Um, the two-headed dragon. Do the same thing with Antonola, but just you know, switch the killers over to plant killer. Um, and Tangier is extremely squishy, um, so just put if or Esper on them to kill in Tangier. That's all the beast killer you need. Um, if it's not, go back in, add a little bit more beast killer. Um, Scorn the White Dragon is an interesting one because it does a preemptive uh, dark nuke with a 200% dark in peril. And so um, I did make a team specifically for this one, so I might as well show it to you. Um, and this one uses um, this one uses uh, Seymour because um, he has a lot of dark resist innately. Um, I gave him a little bit of, of extra dark resist, some light resist, uh, some lightning resist there, um, and he does a preemptive mag cover and a preemptive bar dark jut, which is a 200% dark buff. So he's, he's a really great unit to bring into this trial to cover that. Um, and then everybody else is just there to, um, yeah, everyone else is just there to do, uh, do damage. So let's, um, let's go ahead and see how we get this one done. All right, there is the mag cover. Okay, so Seymour can just guard on this turn now. Um, Esther is going to do Shock Embrace, but we're actually not going to go Lightning on this one. The Shock Embrace, oh, sorry. I meant to do um, Stasis Bound and shark, Shock Embrace. That is to cover the single target physical attacks. All right, and she will, uh, she'll just Mirage. The Shock Embrace does a five stack Mirage on herself. Okay, Golbez will just come down and do um, Jet Black Curse for the breaks. Uh, we'll do Give Your Power to Meteor. What? Um, triple Warlock. Jet Black Curse. Give Your Power to Meteor and Curse for the bigger breaks. Um, Sylvie, we're going to do Light Element on this one. So we'll go Glitter Egg. Um, hop into battle on Golbez and all eggs in one basket on Golbez. Okay. Uh, Eurysia is just going to do, we'll have her do, um, Sword Stratagem to remove the attack and mag breaks, and then Anti-Dragon Stratagem for the Dragon Killers. All right, so Seymour will cover the, um, the light magic attacks and the lightning magic attacks that it's about to throw at us. Ouch. Hmm, that hurt a lot more than I thought it would. Oh, because I think... All right, that's right. Eurysia has to do the the general mitigation on him. Forgot about that. Hmm. I, I went through and, and, like, practiced all these trials, and it's uh, I'm finding it... Um, I'm forgetting what I did because I've done so many of them. I'm forgetting what I did. All right, so we're going to go back in. All right, because we need to see more to at least survive the light attacks. It doesn't matter if he dies on the lightning ones. That's not a big deal. Um, so I forgot I need to do protector stratagem. That puts up 50% general mitigation. That's what's going to allow Seymour to survive at least the first magic attack, um, if not both of them. And then uh, anti-dragon stratagem for the dragon killers. Uh, Sylvie is actually going to... All right, we'll go ahead and do the light imbue again, but then we're going to do some elemental resists. That's, again, to help Seymour to make sure he survives. And then we'll do, um, we will do, um, uh, let's do Marion watch over me. That way he has some extra defense and spirit to go with it. Um, and then, yeah, Golba is just going to do the same thing he did last turn. Seymour will guard to hopefully survive. Okay. 
Now, back in the old days, you had to worry about the brake bar and like, you know, you only survived if, or you could only deal the damage if you broke the bar. You don't have to worry about the brake bar anymore. We are so far beyond the days where you have to worry about the brake bar. It's not even funny. All right, so Seymour is still alive. That is great. So now um, we need a chaining partner. So Sylvie is gonna come in here and do here's a present to Seymour. That gives him chains. Uh, we're going to hop into battle on Golbez and all eggs in one basket on Golbez. So now he can do Meteor. Um, Eurysha, now Eurysha is going to get rid of the attack and mag breaks. Esther's just going to chain. Seymour can now chain using Here I Go and Bunny Kick. And we're going to nuke this guy. Okay. So yeah, potentially we could have done that on the first turn, um, but yeah, just to show you what it, you know, what it would take if you if you can't kill on the first turn, you probably can figure out a way to make your team do a first turn KO on that one. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show that one because it's got a little bit of a, an interesting, a bit of, bit of quirk to the AI. Um, ba, ba, ba. okay, so now I'm going to end, I'm going to end this part with, um, three, what I would call sort of difficult trials only because they're, you know, they're not trials that you're just going to go in and wipe out on the first turn like most of these. So I'll start with Demon Chimera since we're here. All right, so for this one, again, evoke an Esper, kill it in 15 turns. Um, the big thing is you just want to kill it for the Insect Buster. That's a 75% bug killer. Um, for this one, I'm going to select my own unit, and I'm going to bring a Terra for that, um, for that Esper mission. Oh, I need to load up my Chimera team. There we go. All right, so here's our Demon Chimera team. Um, es Esther is going to be our... Um, She's going to be our uh, our tank, and so I've built her for full evasion. So that's why she's wearing Durandal. Um, so she's got Durandal for 30% evasion, run away uh, for 20%, danger gets the blood pumping for another 20%, and she has 30% innately, so that gets her at 100%. Um, Golbez, uh, Grand Star, because it does uh, killers to both Demon and Beast, which Demon Chimera is Demon and Beast, so that's why we need it. Valued Memories for the 100% Beast Killer. Force Mysterion for the 100% uh, Fairy Killer, and that comes from Lunera. Um, yep, everything else stays the same. So he is at 120 Demon, 245 Beast. All right, now it's just, you know, best I could do on a budget build. Um, Sylvie, yeah, don't have to worry about her. Uh, Realm, just gave her either her team or STMR. She doesn't need anything else. Rivera is here to make... Esther to turn Esther into the uh, AOE cover tank. We're going to kill this thing on turn two, and so we need somebody to cover the physical attacks on turn one. And Rivera also is going to supply the beast and the demon killer for Golbez. It's a very useful unit on this one. All right, uh, Terra is simply there for the um, for the uh, the Esper summon. Uh, we are going to summon Ramu for the extra uh, amp field. If you don't care about the Esper mission, um, or you don't have a Terra and you just want to kill the thing, just find another friend Golbez. And, and that goes for all of these. Find a friend Golbez. Even if you don't have Golbez, Golbezes are all over the friend list these days because he's really popular. Just grab a Golbez off your friends list and use the rest of the units that you see here. All right? uh, that's what's great about this. Uh, units like Golbez because they're they're easily accessible. People like to put them up on the friends list. Makes getting you know getting through these trials really really simple. Um, so Realm is of course here for the Rod and Peril because this one is very very bulky and it cannot be broken. Um, it's immune to all breaks. It's pretty bulky and so Golbez uh, a budget Golbez is going to need um, a little bit of help to make sure that we kill this on turn two. All right, um, Esther is going to start just with uh, with Shock Embrace again for the the big the bigger Lightning Imperil. Uh, we can go Lightning on this one. 
So Bolt Egg, uh, hop into battle on Golbez and all eggs in one basket on Golbez. Terra will go ahead and summon Rama. All right, Rivera is going to do Reverberation. Um, Vigilant Orchestra on Esther, that gives her the cover. And then we'll do um, Rhapsody of the Wild. Make sure you do Reverberation first, because that will increase the killers from 75% to 125%. All right, so we'll just do Rhapsody of the Wild to do the Beast Killer on Golbez, and we'll do the Demon Killer next turn. All right, um, Golbez, all he really has to do here is just give your powers to Meteor. Um, if you have Magic Boost Plus, um, you know, obviously put that on, Go on Golbez uh, so he can boost his, his mag. Um, but I don't consider that a budget TMR, so you know. <laughs> I don't even have one. And I've been, you know, I've been playing a lot and I don't have Magic Boost Plus. Okay, um, Realm, all she needs to do is would you pose for a portrait? Because that's what does the... Um, uh, 35%. Why won't it show it to me? Show it to me. All right, forget it. That's what does the rod imperil. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> okay. So here comes the AoE physicals, which Esther will uh, completely evade, thanks to being 100% physical evasion. All right. Now Sylvie ba, 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 um, is going to, actually no, all she has to do is do Bunny Kick to Realm. Rivera just needs to do Impish Nocturne for the Demon Killer on Golbez. So now Realm can chain, Esther can chain, Golbez drops the nuke. Okay, so well, let's see uh, see how this does. Boom! All right. Now you see that that one was kind of close, um, but you know we got over the line. No big deal. I think it has 2.1 billion HP, so we did 200 million over uh, over its HP on that one. So if your Golbez isn't getting across the line, just bring another friend Golbez and you'll definitely crush it. <laughs> hey, I ranked up. Cool. That's one of the nice things about going and doing all these trials over and over again to do these videos. <laughs> I get a lot of uh, I get a lot of rank experience for it. All right, so um, I'm gonna save the rest of the score on trials. So in the next video, I'm gonna do Azura uh, all the way up to Aemon. Uh, the last two I'm going to do on this video are Sandworm and Bahamut. So I'm going to do these guys real quick. Oh, uh, whoops, sorry. Let me show you the missions. Um, so no items for the Spirit Eater Sense. That's the real prize. You definitely want that Spirit Eater Sense because it's 75% Fairy Killer with 40% Attack and Mag. Very, very nice. So just make sure you don't use any items. Uh, don't worry. We won't use any items. <laughs> oh, come back here. Why Why you do that to me? All right. Um... I'm just going to depart without companion because I don't think I need a companion on this one. Uh, Golbez Worm. Yep, there we go. So you see we've got my boy Runda on the team here. If you haven't picked up a Runda, please do so. Um, it makes no sense not to have Runda in this game. Uh, he is a free unit. You don't have to do um, the first three seasons to get him. You just have to do uh, enough of season four uh, to pick him up and get the shards. Um, Super, super great unit. You're going to see him a lot in in future videos in this series, especially against like Azura and things like that. Super great budget tank. So pick him up. He's very useful on this one. All right, Urisha's here for the bug killers. Um, I'll just go ahead and really quickly show you the. So this is my budget build of Runda. Uh, you see Grand Helm plus plus there, Golem Shell plus. All right, we did those trials, so we we're able to use those. Sword of Light is um, Awakened. Um, that is Awakened Warrior of Lights. TMR and it's been upgraded through the Chronicle Battle, which you can do. It's free. Go do it. Um, and I'm using this free vision card, Akuki Chef, for um, uh, for his vision card. So this is one of those free generic ones that you get just by summoning any Neo Vision unit. 
All right. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Eurysia doesn't really have anything. She's just here for the bug killer. Um, Esther, nothing special. Yeah. Um, and so for my uh, Golbez build, uh, just bug killers, bug killer plus, and bug killer. Everything else stays the same. So he is at insect 280. All right. So pretty close to the cap. That just helps you get it done faster. You don't need to have that much. Um, just might take an extra turn because this thing is a little bulky. All right, well, let's get in here and see how we crush the sandworm. Okay. All right, so Esther can just do shock embrace for the um, actually, no, she doesn't even need to do that because we're going to go earth. That's right. So you, sandworm does an earth imperil field, um, and that's to both us and to the sandworm. So we're going to take advantage of that and use Sylvie to do gravel egg this time. Um, hop into battle on Golbez and uh, all eggs in one basket on Golbez. All right, Eurysia is just going to do... Uh, Anti-insect stratagem, that's all we need to do. Runda will do his LB as he usually does. Um, da, 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 da. Now we'll do Meteor next turn just because I want to make sure that um, we've got all of our mitigations up. So I'm just going to do Give Your Power to Meteor. Um, actually no, what am I talking about? Jet Black Curse because we need to do our breaks. Then Give Your Power to Meteor. Um, why does it always do that? Am I doing the wrong one? Triple Warlock. I thought I was doing Triple Warlock. Jet Black Curse. Give your power to Meteor and Curse for the attack and mag breaks. All right. Not that we really need it. I mean, with Runda's mitigations, we're going to take zero damage here. Um, even the Gravija is going to do practically nothing. So that's what Sandworm is known for. It does a lot of gravity attacks, but with 80% general mitt, it's not going to hurt. All right, so you see he just dispelled um, Runda's cover. Don't worry. Yeah, we are good. We are good. Runda don't care. Um, so now we're just going to do our first burst. We'll do some chaining. All right. Um, we will do... What do we do here? Um, I think, if I remember correctly... Uh, I can't remember if it does any kind of status, status ailments or anything, but we're going to make sure that we don't, uh, we don't take those. All right, so we'll just do another dual stratagem. We'll do, um, protectors and, uh, anti-insect just to make sure that's all good. Okay, so let's see how much this one does. Ooh, almost killed it. Nice. Hmm, so you see, even though Runda's uh, cover was dispelled because of the mitigations, we are all good. Okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is... Ba -ba -ba, I'm going to try and get um, Sylvie's LB up. Uh, 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 using Eurysia. Let's see if that'll work. Perfect. Because Sylvie's um, LB does 50% uh, MP restore, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. If, why will it not show it to me? There we go. Yeah, 50% MP restore on her LB. Um, so this is just going to be enough to make sure that Golbez gets across the line. So that literally all we have to do is just reload repeat. Hmm. All right, there's your sandworm. Done and dusted. Yeah, maybe if I'd had that extra 20% bug killer, uh, we would have killed on turn two, but even if not, don't worry, he'll definitely kill it on turn three. All right. Um. Don't even need to look at the damage. Golbez is doing everything. 
All right, so the last one I'm gonna do for this video is uh, Heavenly Flames Bahamut. All right, um, I've got a team set up for it. Uh, so for this one, um, it's got a couple of uh, requirements. Defeat within 15 turns, we'll do that. Use no more than five items. It's nice that you can use items on this one because you can use elixirs on your Golbez here. Um, plant withering pressure is a 75% uh, magic only plant killer, I think, which kind of stinks. Uh, and then use a limit burst for 100 lapis. So we'll try to get these all done as well. Um, ba -ba -ba. So I'm gonna bring uh, Terra again for this one, um, for the field. I'm gonna load up, uh, where is Baja? There we go, go Baja. All right, so here's the team that I used. And uh, yeah, let's see how we get this one done. Should be pretty simple and straightforward. Um, you do want a fairly bulky mag tank because he does some AOE non-elemental magic damage that is quite potent. Uh, and so Beatrix is pretty well suited for this one, even with budget gear, she's pretty bulky. So here's the budget gear I've used on her. Uh, Eurysis is just for the dragon killers. She also supplies beast killers as well. Um, Esther is going to, um, she's going to provoke the single target attacks on turn one. Uh, Golbez is built for dragon killers here. Is he? A uh, dragon and beast, yeah. Because don't forget, uh, the first time I did it, I forgot that, um, uh, that he is both dragon and beast, and I just loaded up on dragon killers. Um, so he is dragon and beast, so make sure you put both of those killers in there. Otherwise, gear stays the same. Uh, same with Sylvie, nothing shaken there. And that's it. All right, Terra's just there to summon an Esper, um, which we don't need to do, but uh, we're gonna do it for the field um, to get this one done. Actually, you know what? I might actually not do that just because uh, I don't want to assume that you have a Terra and we honestly don't need it so I'm just gonna do a five yeah I'm just gonna do a five-man team on this one okay all right um first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do our Hunter's Stratagem, which does a 75% Beast Killer on Golbez, and Anti-Dragon Stratagem for the 100% Dragon Killer. Golbez will do his usual turn one Jet Black Curse with Give Your Power to Meteor and Curse for the breaks. Um, Sylvie can go ahead and do... We can go Lightning Element on this one, which is nice. So Bolt Egg, uh, Hop into Battle on Golbez, and All Eggs in One Basket on Golbez. Um, Esther can do, she's going to provoke and shock embrace for the Mirage stacks. Beatrix will put up cover and saintly protection for the mitigation. Now this first turn he's just going to do five single target attacks. Um, he'll also do some confuse on everybody, uh, but everybody should be resisting to confuse. Oh no, my Golbez isn't. That's right, because he's wearing... <laughs> He's wearing the cursed, uh, the cursed doll. All right, forgive me. Um, well, let's go back and do that. Um, yeah, <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Okay, no worries. What we're gonna, ha uh, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna have uh, Sylvie handle that. I'm not gonna change any of the gear. Um, we're just gonna go back and um, we're just gonna adjust our turn one actions a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna reload everybody except I'm gonna change Sylvie. So Sylvie needs to do spring cleaning to put up confusion resistance for Golbez, then Bolt Egg and uh, hop into battle on Golbez. All right, um, but everybody else stays the same. <laughs> yeah, I've done too many trials. I can't remember what, what they all do. All right, so there you go. Esther covers all that. Easy peasy. All right, Beatrix is going to guard on this turn because the AoE nukes are very, very potent. 
um, and she, there is a possibility that she could die from it. If she does, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not concerned about it. Um, the first one should not kill her, the second one might, um, but it's okay if she does die. I'm not worried about it. So now we can have, um, we can do all legs in one basket on Golbez, and then we're gonna do, here's a present to Eurysia. Um, and then we can just do, we'll do hop to the rescue on Beatrix just to give her some, some better buffs to make sure she survives. All right, so now Eurysia and Esther are going to chain. Golbez is going to nuke. All right, and let's just see how much we do on this one. Okay, not too shabby. So yeah, Bahamut is pretty bulky. He's got like 200,000 spirit, um, unless you break the break bar. Um, so he is a chunky boy. All right, but we can use elixirs here. All right, and then we can just go again. So he should still have, yeah, he should still have his beast killers and his dragon killers. Good, all right. Um, and yeah, we should just be able to go ahead and chain it up again. So um, Bahamut's not gonna do anything this turn. Literally, he does nothing, he just takes a breath and then he'll do a Mega Breath next turn. But we'll probably kill him before he gets a chance to do Mega Breath. Um, so, anything else I need to do here? I don't think so. I'll just make sure that Eurysia has... Uh, actually, no, I'll give it to Beatrix. That way we can... Let's give here's a present to Beatrix. That way I can re-up my killers next turn if I need to. Um, and then, yeah, we're just gonna redo the bolt egg to make sure we're imbued. Marry and watch over me. There we go. Okay, so we'll just do another meteor. Okay, perfect. So we'll definitely kill him next turn, no problem. All right, takes a breath, doesn't do anything else. Now Sylvie can do an elixir on Golbez. Eurysia is going to replace the killers. Oops. Because I think they've worn off now. Make sure Beatrix can chain before I do any of this. Yep, okay, perfect. All right, so Golbez will just do what he does. And we're going to chain it up. And this will kill him. There you go. All right, taking down the big boy. All right, so that's uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much it for this video. This has been a long one already. I don't want to bore you guys um, in, in one video. Like I said, I'm going to do two more videos in the series. Um, the next one, I'm going to do the remainder of the Scorn Trials from Azura up to Aemon. Uh, and in, in the last video, I will do uh, the 12 Types Trials, and I'll, I'll, I'll even try to do Morgana. Um, I'll definitely do the Legend version, and maybe even the... Uh, or sorry, I'll definitely do the Elite version, maybe even the Legend version. We'll see. Um, so stay tuned for those guys, and um, I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, Thank you guys again so much for supporting me, and uh, thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks to everybody that supports me and, and contributes um, their voice to the polls that I put out there. It, it's really nice to get your feedback. Um, if there are, are any trials, um, like any of the really easy ones that I didn't do here that you have any questions about, or if you have any questions about building your gold bez, certainly let me know in the comments below. Um, I always look forward to seeing you guys, uh, seeing what you guys have to say. Always try to respond to everybody. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you on the other side.